Hi, I'm Jacob Klingensmith, president of Tamarack Aerospace Group. At Tamarack, we take a lot of pride in the safety and the quality of our product, but we also take a lot of pride in being transparent. So today you're gonna to see a demonstration of what happens when the product fails in flight. This isn't just any old failure. This is a worst case simulation. Uh, we have experimental airworthiness certificate on the aircraft, and we also have a special test box installed in the aircraft to simulate the failure, introduce the failure. Um, the pilot's Lindsay Moreland. She's a CJ pilot, and um, she hasn't had any special training. She's just gonna go through the recovery procedure, which is a conventional procedure that's in our AFM supplement. Uh, and then she's gonna be in the cockpit by herself, recovering from a failure. You're gonna see her recover after uh, quite a delay, after the, the failure is introduced. She's doing that on purpose just to demonstrate what it would be like if she hadn't noticed it right away. So with that, I'll just let Lindsay tell the rest of the story. My name is Lindsay Moreland. I'm a corporate pilot based primarily out of Denver. I've been flying all different types of CJs for about 10 years, and I've been flying uh, multiple different aircraft that have the Tamarack winglets for a little over two years now. I've got a little over 7,000 hours total time with about 3,000 of that in the 525s. And today for the first time we went up and we did the a failure of the Tamarack winglets and just to get an idea of how that felt. It's it's my first time having any sort of failure being done on me with the winglets. So it was, it was, a, it was a great experience to see. We went up to about 27,000 feet today. We're at about 240 knots when they caused the failure. Just did the procedure, power to idle, hit the speed brakes, rolled in, um, you know, using the electric elevator trim nose up is a big help to help slow, slow the um, airspeed and the slower we got, the easier it was to control, got down to 140 knots, and it was extremely maneuverable, and it was actually really comfortable. As long as you follow the procedures that they're giving, those memory items, power to idle, hit the speed brakes, kill the autopilot, get it slowed down, it really was very controllable, and not something that I felt um, makes me feel any less comfortable flying around the winglets, which I still do quite a bit. I'm very happy to do it, especially with all the benefits. 